Have you thought about the fact that it's only people that doesn't know anything about music theory and doesn't know how to read sheet music that says that you don't need it? You never hear that from people that are able to read sheet music and knows a bit about music theory, do you? Do you really need to be able to read sheet music? Well, let's talk about that in this video. I've been stuck inside for a couple of weeks writing arrangements for an orchestra and this may be overkill for what we are talking about in this video. And it's obvious, of course, in an orchestra you need to be able to read sheet music to be able to play your part. Otherwise, how would you know what your part would be? In my case here, I have two flutes, two clarinets, a saxophone section with alto, two tenors and a baritone and a bassoon, three trumpets where one is playing flegelhorn also, a band with drums, piano and double bass, a choir, soprano, alto and baritone and a string section with two violin parts and one cello part. This is an amateur orchestra I'm writing for, therefore it makes it more difficult because I need to write it challenging enough so it's fun to play, but not too difficult so they won't be able to play it. I also need to know the range of the instruments, where the instruments are the loudest and the weakest, where they can play a staccato, short note, or long notes. I need to write in breaths for the winds and horns because people need to breathe. I need to write bow changes for the strings and so on. That's way more complicated than just be able to read sheet music. And I asked a few members of my choir before we had our Christmas concert if they think it's important to be able to read sheet music. I think it's beneficial, but maybe not necessary. People learn different ways. Not always. There are possibilities to learn by heart or by listening to, I think. But sheet music is quite good to know. Yes, absolutely. Necessary to read sheet music, yes. It helps a great deal. So I would recommend knowing some, some scores, the basics. Uh, sing here, do not sing here, and uh, yeah, the tone goes up, the tone goes down, basically. Strong, soft. If you want to be a professional musician, a hired gun, you have to be able to read sheet music. You don't have to be the best at it, but you have to figure out what part to play, what part to not play, how, what the register you should play in, what chords to play, what rhythm to play, and so on. Often in those cases also the rehearsals are very few and very short. And sometimes the band leader, the conductor, hands out a sheet music paper one hour before the concert. You have to be able to read it and perform from it. If you play in a band, have a home studio writing songs, maybe you don't have to be able to read and write sheet music. But it's not a bad thing to know. A whole new world will open up and you will explore areas that you didn't know exist before you could read sheet music. And especially if you learn some music theory also. Then you will understand how everything comes together and how everything is connected. And it's also good for your own development to be able to read sheet music. You will become a better musician, a better songwriter, I think, if you also understand a little bit of what you're doing. I learn every time we practice uh, to read <clears throat> and sing ri the rhythm better and also the notes. I think you can spend less time learning, um, learning the music you're supposed to sing and more time developing how you're going to sing it, for example. The more you know, the better you get. It's like a different language. If you, you open yourself up to an entirely different culture, another dimension of being, so to speak. I know there's different opinions about this and it's very divided. So before you put your nasty comments in the comment section, let me ask you this. Do you really think it's a bad thing to know more? I don't. I think it's a good thing to know more. And music is the only global language we have, including sheet music. Most of the world we can handle with English, Swedish not so much. I can speak a few words in French and Spanish, but I can't, can't communicate with the few phrases I have in Spanish. 
but I can communicate with music and I can communicate with sheet music because that is the same all over the world. The only global language we have. And language in Swedish is språk. Språk. Until next time, Roger that. It's a language. I mean, if you learn to listen and you can speak, but you can't read uh, English or Swedish, what, what does that make you? I mean, it's basically illiterate, but the same way with music. It's still a language. You can listen and hear it and sing along, but if you can't read it, you know, you got to learn.